Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a handy little tutorial that you might find useful should a parasitic life force, commonly known as the Flood, show up in our universe at any time soon and try to consume us all. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to fire one of the seven halo rings, and also the galactic side effects of such a thing. So before we even consider beginning the firing protocols, we first need a reclaimer. For safety reasons, and other political reasons that we aren't going to talk about today, the Forerunners built the Halos to be only activated by a human. So if you're watching this tutorial and are a Jackal, Grunt, Elite, or God forbid a Flood form, then I'm sorry, this video just isn't for you. So, step one, I guess, is to find a halo ring. Provided that you haven't already been handpicked and teleported to a ring by a monitor, you first need to find one. So, there are a total of seven halo rings in the Milky Way galaxy. Installation 01 is located somewhere on the Orion arm. Installation 02 is located on the Norma arm. Installation 03 is located on the Centaurus arm. Installation 04, which is now commonly known as Installation 09, is located in the Sol System, orbiting Threshold on the Orion arm. Installation 05 is located orbiting the Gas Giant Substance on the Norma arm. Installation 06 is on the Perseus arm. And Installation 07 is located on the Sagittarius arm. As soon as you've got your feet on a halo ring, proceed to step two. Step two, finding the cartographer. If you were teleported to a halo by a monitor, then you can skip to step three, but if you're a lonely human trying to save the galaxy from space zombies, then you need to find a foreigner construct known as the cartographer, or alternatively, the map room. This will display the real-time location of all important constructs on the ring, including the library and the control room, which are crucial for the following steps. The only issue you're going to face is finding the map room. The map room for Installation 04 is located here, and for Installation 07 can be found in a huge triangular foreigner structure, sticking out of the wall on the edge of the ring. It's around 500 kilometers big, so you really can't miss it. Unfortunately, if you haven't got a monitor to guide you for the remaining five halos, then you've just got to search for the cartographer yourself. It might take some time, but hey, saving the galaxy ain't easy. Once you've located the cartographer, activate it and search for two locations on the map, the library and the control room. Make sure that you remember where they are, and then move on to step three. Step three, the library. Good lord, I feel for you. After going to its location that you found on the cartographer, once you arrive at this dark ancient research facility, you've got to find a little green stick called the index. This thing is literally the key to the halo, and it can't be fired without it, so it's pretty important. Previous findings seem to point towards it floating above a bottomless pit in the centre of a large room, but that was only the case for installations 04 and 05. It may differ with the other rings. The problem is finding the index room. You're going to have to navigate a lot of big, dark corridors that, depending on the stage of flood outbreak, could be crawling with zombies. If you don't have monitor assistance yet, for whatever reason, then make sure you're armed. Keep your wits about you, grab that index, and for the sake of everyone's sanity, get the hell out of there as soon as possible. Step four, the control room. Almost there now, you've just got to refer back to the cartographer you found for the location of the control room. They tend to be at the top of large metal structures called ziggurats that, depending on the stage of outbreak, could be crawling with the flood, so once again, prepare yourself. Others, however, have been noted to be in the middle of a lake, so wherever the control room is, it's going to be difficult to access for obvious reasons. Once you reach the top, you'll have to go through a few doorways and a few tunnels before you reach this massive, expansive room with a walkway that's shaped like a ring. Ironic. And this next part is why you have to be a reclaimer. Insert the index into the hologram terminal and press some buttons. You can figure that one out for yourself. The firing procedure will then initiate, however, only a reclaimer can do this. The terminal is unresponsive to any other species. So, sorry Grunts, it's your time to leave. Once activated, you can choose to fire a tactical pulse, which will send out a small blast, destroying any local sentient beings, or just a regular pulse, which will fire at the ring's normal range. 
If you choose this, then the pools will reach the range of the other six halo rings, and then will subsequently activate them too, which will in turn cleanse the entire galaxy. So you've got to be pretty sure of what you're doing if you're going to fire a regular pulse. And that's how you fire an individual halo ring. Your nervous system has been destroyed and you're dead now, but hey, at the end of the day, you save the galaxy. Alternatively, if you want to survive and activate the array at the same time, then there is a way to do this. Take a trip to Installation 00, the Ark. This place will shield you and anyone on it from the Halo's blast, and will allow you to fire the entire array simultaneously, but should only be used if the flood outbreak is galactic in scale. You'll also need a special portal to access it, one of which can be found beneath Voy in Africa. Although keep in mind, you'll probably have to ask the local government about accessing it beforehand. Something tells me they might not be too happy with you opening a massive portal and possibly destroying the entire city for the second time. The firing process here is pretty similar, except this time you'll need to go to the Citadel, found next to the core of the Ark, which is where the halos are produced. At the end of a long walkway, you'll see a terminal. This time, you don't actually need an index to fire the array, but it still has to be activated by a reclaimer. So, once again, I'm sorry Grunts, but this tutorial really isn't for you. Upon activation, the firing sequence of each halo ring will begin, and the galaxy will ultimately be cleansed, with those taking shelter on the Ark being the only survivors. So, now you're dandy. If the Flood invade our galaxy, you know exactly what to do. You can be the guardian and the saviour of our galaxy. Should you spot an infection form roaming the streets, or a big Flood-infected ship roaring through the sky, just refer back to this video and do what's right for the Milky Way galaxy. If you enjoyed this video, show your support down below with the likes and the comments. If a load of you guys did enjoy this video, and this sort of different, almost jokey style of video, then I might even turn it into a series, like tutorials for saving the Halo universe, or something along those lines. It could be quite a fun way to hold us over until Halo 6 news, actually, so if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then show some support down below in the likes and the comments. Alright then guys, that's it for today, make sure you refer back to this video should you see an infection form trying to swim with the fish in a lake, or a combat form roaming the streets at night. Make sure you refer back to this video, and like I said, do what's best for the Milky Way galaxy. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.